Wolfpack, I'm Ben Felix. And I'm Tristan Lloyd. Today is Monday, September 28th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention all members of LEAD. If you want to participate in the homecoming parade representing the Latino Club, you need to attend a meeting today after school in your Senora Paredes' room, HM1. There will be an art club meeting this Thursday in room HF12 from 314 to 430. Hey, all you Ultimate Frisbee players, the Ultimate Frisbee Club is having its second game of the year today from 3.30 to 4.30. Make sure you bring water, cleats or running shoes, along with a white and a dark shirt. Please direct all inquiries to Ms. Mr. McCurdy or Mrs. Lalonde. Community Day applications for both leaders and participants will be available Monday, October 5th, and they will be due Monday, October 12th. Applications can be found on the Leadership Room door, and they will be due inside the Leadership Room. When you are done, contact Brooke McNeil with any questions. For seniors, float building runs through this Thursday. The schedule is posted on Ms. Dietrich's window, HN4. Students must work at least five hours to be in the float or on the spirit truck. Let's hear about how you can sign up for the blood drive. Hey, I'm Michael McCarl from Wolfpack TV, and I'm with... Andrew Hernandez, the NHS lead for blood drive this year. And what is blood drive? So blood drive is a time when we pull you out of class for about an hour and we're going to take a pint of your blood, but America is in dire need of it. I mean, we take transfusions every two seconds, so we really need your blood. And where is this taking place? It's going to be in the culinary parking lot. And so you'll be pulled out of class for about an hour and that'll be during the period that you select after, after you turn in your consent form. And when is this blood drive? The blood drive is going to be October 6th. And so we will send out a, we'll send out a pass the day before on October 1st to your fifth period to just to remind you that you're going to be donating blood and the, the period that you will be donating it in. And then we'll send you a pass to come and retrieve you and someone will walk you out to the culinary parking lot. And what do you, what will you get out of this? Okay, so this year the theme is Be a Hero, Donate Blood. And we also get these free t-shirts if you donate their UC colors. So yeah, we really appreciate it. I mean, you get, we'll have food out there too as well, just to keep you going. Also, it's important that you snack throughout the day, so make sure you eat kind of a hearty breakfast, something with iron, like a raisin bran, for example. Make sure you drink a lot of water, you stay hydrated. And if you're going to play a sport, you have to, if you play a sport, you have to wait 24 hours until you play. Otherwise, you have a risk of like passing out. We don't want that. And so those are just a few of the ups, the downsides of it, but you should be good to go. All right, thank you for your time. I'm Michael McCarvel from Impact TV. Back to you, anchors. Now let's hand it on over to John and Audra for your In the News updates. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm John Timmons. And I'm Audra Fallen, and we're here with your In the News announcements. President Barack Obama, speaking in the United Nations Assembly earlier today, singled out Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad. President Obama termed him as a tyrant for, quote, dropping barrel bombs to massacre innocent children. The president also encouraged armies fighting in Syria to lay down their arms and urged other nations to work together to find a solution to the anarchy in the country. Throughout this, he continued to blame al-Assad for creating a power vacuum in the country that allowed the terror group ISIS to form and fester. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon spoke earlier in the assembly, commending Europe for, for, for providing asylum and a refuge for fleeing Syrians. However, he continued to urge all countries to work together to provide a life for fleeing refugees, end bombing campaigns in Yemen, and encourage nations to set aside differences and work together for the common good of the people, specifically citing the U.S. and Iran nuclear agreement. In Cairo Saturday afternoon, 10 Mexican tourists were mistaken for terrorists. Four of them were killed and six are now hospitalized in stable condition. Mexico's government has condemned the incident, calling for an exhaustive investigation. Later this weekend, Egypt's foreign ministry posted a message on its Facebook page saying that they would be published in a major newspapers in Mexico on Wednesday, expressing their condolences to the fallen men. Well, that seems to be all we have for you today, but until next time, I'm Audra Fallen. And I'm John Timmons. Back to you, Ben and Tristan. If you are interested in playing softball in the spring, please come to a short informational meeting in Ms. Betancourt's room on Wednesday, September 30th, right after school. Do you enjoy role-playing games like Magic or Dungeons & Dragons? Come on over to Role Playing Club every Thursday. The mythical meetings will be held in HB9 until 415. The PSAT will take place on Wednesday, October 14th. Juniors and freshmen must purchase their PSAT by the October 5th deadline. You can only purchase it on the COHS web store. 
Only sophomores will take the PSAT for free this year. If you have any questions, more information on the PSAT is posted in School Loop News. To all you fashionistas, the Fashion Club will be having a meeting in HJ1 on, on Tuesday at 3.30. Attention all juniors, float building will be held today after school until 6 p.m. in Ms. Henderson's room, HP2. Building will continue every day this week after school until 8 p.m. Thursday, you will stay until the float is finished. You must have worked at least five hours to be in this parade. Remind Reminder, tomorrow's Spirit Day is Retro Workout Day. Well, that seems to be all we have for you today. I'm Tristan Lloyd. And I'm Ben Felix. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Hey, Ben, what day is it today? It's National Ask a Stupid Question Day. <laughs>